Well, hello, hello, and welcome to episode two of Flying Around the Drone and Chatting, the series where I fly the drone around and we chat about stuff. I'll probably come up with a better title. So here we are, another day down at the rugby club. Pretty blue skies today, a few clouds about. Nice little uh, afternoon in June, just to fly about. Um, so what's new? Well, today we are trying out slightly different settings on the GoPro. So what I've got is 2.7K, 60 frames per second, and uh, super view. So it should look a little bit wider, the field of view. And also, if you want to make the most out of the settings, go ahead and change your, uh, your YouTube quality into 60 frames per second. And then you should see a really, really smooth looking image as we're flying about. How does it look? A little bit better than the 24 frames per second? Can you tell any difference? I think there'll probably be a little bit of a difference. Uh, what else have I been up to? So I've been changing the rates a little bit on the uh, on the drone. The whole thing's very customizable. So I've slowed the rates for the um, the steering basically down a little bit. Um, the whole point of this thing, like I said last time around, is for you know video making. So if there's any of this kind of like really jittery, if, you know, if I'm flying the drone around and it's all it's all shaky. Um, yes, it does react very quickly, uh, but it makes the footage a lot more twitchy. So there's some playoffs to it. I want the, the footage to look and feel really smooth. And part of that is going to be a little bit of a sacrifice in, um, in the, the stick response and uh, how the drone handles, but it should make the footage, yeah, just look good. I've uh, been making some small adjustments here and there. As the um, as the weeks gone by, I kind of have to make like a couple adjustments at a time. Go out, fly the thing, do three or four packs, come back in, and then it's usually the next day by the time I get to go out again and actually practice um, and see how it flies. I don't want to ever adjust too much in one go and too many settings in one go because then I won't know you know what the difference is like. Okay, I think a couple more turns and then this battery will be done. Where should we go? Let's go up high. Okay, and then I think I'll come back in and land. Coming in nice and slow. Perfect. Okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, one of the other things I've been practicing doing is a few new tricks. So, you know, all this stuff, all this flippy floppy business, it's quite fun to do, but really it doesn't make the video look very good. Um, you know, it just kind of goes blurry and, oh right, great, he's done a flip. But some stuff that's a little bit more challenging to do that looks good is, say I'm going along in a straight line like this, and I try and, see, that was not very good at all. What I'm trying to do is keep moving in the same direction, but spin round, kind of like that, but without the, the dip in the middle, right? Let's try again. Coming along in a straight line. 
and without slowing down either. And it's actually quite hard to do. Um, you might be thinking like, oh, why don't you just yank the yaw stick around? I'll show you what that looks like. If you just yank the yaw stick, it goes like that. If my drone was sat, you know, perfectly level, I don't know where level is, but say about here, and then if I pull the yaw stick, then it brings it round. But actually, because the drone's le leaning forwards and it's flying, when you pull the yaw stick round, the camera looks up into the air. It's kind of like, uh, what's a good analogy? Those, um, those globes, you know, in, a, in like geography class, when you spin a, a globe round, it's kind of on an axis. So you've got to get just the right amount of roll from the other joystick and then hopefully it looks pretty smooth. That time I gained some altitude, but that was in a straight line and I didn't slow down. Here we go, let's try again. Yeah, we're getting there. And the whole point of this thing is like, you know, why are you trying to do this trick? Say I was going past something like this and I wanted to look at it on the way past. Hey, that was a pretty good one. <laughs> Maybe I just need to have an object to focus on. Yeah, say I was coming past something in a video. Uh, let's use this, this lamppost at the end here and just let me get lined up. And I want to focus on it the whole way past. We kind of do something like that. The last one was better. So that's one of the tricks I've been trying to learn. Um, the other one is kind of a, a variation on these um, these flips and rolls I've been doing. Oh, that wasn't very good. So imagine I'm flying along and I want to look behind me. There you go. It's kind of like a, a little bit of hang time you get in there. Let's try it this way. And you know, you can finish off by completing the spin like I did there. Or you could finish by coming back the same way again. That sort of thing. Of course, it doesn't need to be just a backflip or a flump, eh, front flip either. You could have, uh, you know, sort of a sideways spin. And again, same thing, sideways, come back the same way. Just kind of getting used to how long the um, the drone hangs in the air once you punch the throttle. You know, it will kind of sit there for a little while. Uh, and basically, yeah, that's what the trick's all about. You give it a bit of a boost, hang it in the air, and then bring it back around again. Hopefully kind of close to the floor, but without hitting the floor. <laughs> right, let's come in and land. This battery's done. Here we go. Uh, in the interests of equality as well, because how have I been doing it? I've been practicing going this way around. I should also practice going that way around as well. Let's try and focus on, oh yeah, this thing would be cool storage container. Oh, don't get too close. Oof. Okay, that was a bad lineup. Here we go. So as I'm coming past here. Oh. Yeah, okay. That didn't go well. back and check that I've not broken anything permanently. Mm. 
Now, okay, so slightly bent propeller, but nothing too bad. The, uh, the GoPro is the thing I was most worried about, and that's totally fine. Let's try it again. But let's try it with something like these ropey posts over here. There's a bit more space. So, coming along. Ah, see how much I turn then? I started off behind the ropey posts. That's not good. We want to keep heading in a straight line. Yeah, that way is a lot easier. I don't know why. Let's try it this side. Yeah, got some height that time. Yeah. Okay, it's a pretty, it's a pretty tricky trick. Used to do well. Let's just do some flippy floppy stuff for a bit. Make myself feel better. Oh, there we go. Now I'm dizzy. <laughs> oh, man. What is going on here? I hope that there's nothing... Did I miss something on there? I mean, I can tell the props are pretty badly bent, but... Maybe the battery's just sagging because it's getting towards the end of it. I mean, it sounds fine. Uh, there we go. That's a good one. That was a good one then. Let's try it past something. Mm, that was worse. That was kind of on an angle. Oh man, it's just so tricky. You've got to get the right input from like all the sticks just to keep it. That was good. Drifted a little bit to the right. Oh. That one was okay. It's awful. That was really bad. Oh man. Okay, I'll keep practicing. Yeah, slow down a bit. Okay, let's bring this one back in. I think this is going to be the last battery for today, guys. So, thank you. Oh, that was a hard landing. <laughs> thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.